You know I am a big fan of Resident Evil, well maybe you don't, but I almost completed every game in the main franchise and the remakes. I even played some of the spin-off game offline and online. And I also watch all the CG movie. I am not here to boast, but I am somewhat well versed in Resident Evil thing. So then why does my video state that Resident Evil 4 was inspired by a movie and that this movie is in fact the life action Resident Evil movie that came out in 2002. You know, this train wreck of a movie that almost no one like? Why would I say that? That would be nothing but heresy, you know? So why? Well, at first, I would be pretty confused too if I saw the title, because the movie franchise is so its own thing from the game that it could be classified as less of an adaptation of the Resident Evil universe, and more of a quick cash grab for money that used the name. I mean, the first movie didn't even feature a character from the game, so then why would Resident Evil 4 take any inspiration from it? It probably wouldn't. I mean, the movie is not even canon to the game. No thanks, bro. Well then if this is what you think, I will prove you wrong easily. You see Uno reverse card. Look at this scene from Resident Evil 4. This laser scene came out in 2005, pretty cool. Leon is badass dodging the laser in this. Now look at this scene from the movie simply called Resident Evil, also pretty cool. Maybe the character didn't manage to dodge the laser as much as Leon did, but those two scenes are still conceptually pretty similar. I mean, it's hard to not see the similarity. Both have a character enter a laser room that have them dodge laser or at least try. The only thing is the movie laser scene came out in 2002, three years before the release of Resident Evil 4. I know crazy, the movie did it first. So either those two separate Resident Evil product that again came out 3 years apart had a very similar idea and the people making the game didn't even watch the movie at all during that time, which is really unlikely if we are honest. Or going by the most logical option, Resident Evil 4 was in fact inspired in some way by the Resident Evil movie, at least for that scene. A scene that is easily the most memorable scene from the whole movie. Movie. I mean really ask people who saw the movie what is the most memorable scene, this is the one they will say. Making it really hard to believe the developer at Capcom never knew it existed before, no, making it simply impossible. I mean can you look me in the eye, well you physically can't but you get the point. Can you really say that the laser scene from RE4 wasn't inspired in any way by the movie? That it's impossible that a game that came out 3 years after the movie took any inspiration from it when it has a scene dissimilar to it? You simply can't. The only explanation is that the game was inspired by the movie, at least for those scenes. Where's everyone going? Bingo. Plus if the game took inspiration from the movie at one point, maybe it did at other two. So maybe the action focus hype moment that were new for RE4, compared to the older title where you were weaker, really were inspired by the movie goofier tone. But this we will never know for sure. Even if Alice did give the boat to a zombie in the first movie, by that I mean she kicked a zombie, and again that was 3 years before Resident Evil 4, where Leon does the same came out, so you know, maybe it's not a coincidence. I mean I am pretty convinced it's not, because come on, who kicked a zombie in the face other than Resident Evil character, and even if Leon was the first video game character in the franchise to do so, Alice did it first in the movie. But let's go even deeper into this rabbit hole, shall we? To get straight to the point. I would like you to hand the girl there over to me now. Yeah, fat chance, Ramon. The Resident Evil 4 game technically started development way back in 1999, three years before the movie came out. So maybe the idea for the laser scene was in development before the movie started production, but that can't really be true. Because if you don't know, Resident Evil 4 had a rough development that has gone through many iterations, the first of which that became so different from what we would expect from a Resident Evil game that it became its own game franchise with Devil May Cry, a game that came out in 2001. I 
should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! Yeah, DMC1 was at one point Resident Evil 4, so before 2001, the version of RE4 we can play today didn't even exist. Even then, the version we know wouldn't come to light until way later with many other versions of the iconic game in development at many points, like the Fog version or the Hookman version of the game that was first presented way back at E3 2003, one year after the movie came out again, not being the version we have today. So we know that even if RE4 started development 3 years before the movie, the version we know started development at least after 2003, before that it didn't even exist, with it only being announced one year later in 2004, two years after the movie came out. So this means the game as we know it really started development in between 2003 and 2004, so again at least a year after the movie came out, probably even two. You cannot deny it now, the game took the laser scene directly from the movie. That went well. I mean coincidence do exist, but come on, the boot I could excuse, but the laser scene is just too much. Plus really Resident Evil choose to add this level of goofy action only after the movie came out? It's too much of a coincidence. Also for the final argument, it's not the only time the game franchise would take inspiration from the movie, as the Red Queen from the movie actually make a canon appearance in a Resident Evil game, in Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicle. A spin of Game, but a canon game nonetheless, made by Capcom, so we know they at one point did took inspiration from the movie. So there is nothing to say they didn't do it before with Resident Evil 4. And if you want more proof that Capcom isn't afraid to take inspiration from the movie, the same game, The Umbrella Chronicle, also had a laser room, also inspired by the same movie, Resident Evil that came out in 2002. Okay, not the remake of the first game, but the word movie with Alice. So there you have it, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on you, or so the saying goes. Is this what they teach kids in school these days? As the last attempt to disprove that the game took anything at all from the movie, you could then argue that the game even though it changed version still kept some aspect from version to version. That would make sense. So starting with 2001 after Devil May Cry 1, this scene, the laser scene could have been already invented for the game. Well, probably not honestly. Because it's only during the final version of the game that Capcom chose to really incorporate action into Resident Evil 4. It's it's even because they deemed the Devil May Cry 1 build too action focused that it became its own game. Plus the quick time were not even in the 2003 version to my knowledge. So those scene like the laser scene were really added to the final version. So even if I would entertain this idea, do you really think the laser scene from Resident Evil 4 would have been in any other build before the final one with the action added in? And for the cherry on top, the movie started production in the 2000 to 2001 time frame. So around the same time the first build of Resident Evil 4 was released as Devil May Cry 1. So at most a year before Resident Evil 4 really started production and at least at the same time. But not the version with the laser scene, the older abandoned build of it. So this argument doesn't stand at all. It's even funny when you realize that later on the movie would rip off fight scene from the game so both take scene from each other at the end of the day, and as they are both Resident Evil, it's 100% okay for them to do so. Even if the laser scene in Resident Evil 4 is cooler than the movie, and the Wesker fight was cooler in Resident Evil 5 than in the movie, so the game always make it cooler. I would like to have a grand speech to sum up the whole video and ask you to question yourself in a deep way, or hell at least make you laugh, but I know a lot of you watching are going to be mad at me anyway because I said Resident Evil 4 was inspired by the movie and yeah you know that make people mad I guess. A lot of people will probably just be thinking I like the movie and want to give it more credit than it deserves but I actually just think this topic was interesting and if you got this far you probably think so too. So yeah don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, turn on the notification bell and leave a comment if you enjoyed the video and want more video like those. Thanks for watching. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small 
Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on